You know, we have been using harpoons for a while to chase ships, steal loot, and climb our way to the top. But when you look close enough, there is more to them than just harpooning. I managed to have no life for a few days. Not like that's anything new, but so I can decipher the harpoon like you have never seen before. So make sure you watch this video until the end. On this channel, I do gaming stuff and things, so please consider subscribing to make the algorithm happy. We have to understand the way harpoons function, behind the scenes, so we can implement its power into our daily acts of piracy. I managed to gather proper data. Just like you have seen in my flintlock analysis video, I aim to make guides useful, and for this one, here is what I found. Fact: A harpoon takes an approximate time of 1.3 seconds to reach its furthest distance. Why is this important? If there is no load within range, it takes 1.3 seconds. Then, I tested that by measuring the distance of a pinned harpoon. And I added an item in that specific location. It took around a quarter of a second to reach the furthest distance and get the item. That means the aim assist knows if you have an item within range the moment you launch it. And that works by casting an invisible ray and returning true or false. If it's true, no need for a full 1.3 seconds animation. As it cannot tell how far the item is, it just snaps towards the item and pulls it back. But if it's false, then we move to our next option. You are on a moving ship. Knowing how long it takes to reach the furthest distance, we will have to make sure that we get the timing right. And that comes with practice. When passing by floating barrels, there are two ways to grab the barrel. One, aiming directly at it, where it will take a fraction of a second and bring the item back. Or launch it before getting there, where you notice the barrel gets pinned at the furthest point of the harpoon. So harpoons have two triggers. One, when you first launch. Two, at the furthest point which is 1.3 seconds after launch. If the first trigger fails, the second one will be activated and check if there's an item at the furthest point, before turning back. Which explains why sometimes the harpoon goes through items when you try and pin and it grabs nothing. Upon launch, there was nothing within range and neither at the furthest point. So keep these two options in mind. I am launching the harpoon. Do I want a direct hit? Or do I want the furthest point to trigger? The timing of your launch should be thought of accordingly. Harpoons work better if you aim below the item that you want to grab, and not directly at it. By practicing and implementing that to the previous demonstration, you will increase your chances of getting the item you need when you need it. Interesting? I surely hope so. But that is not all, as I have one more discovery to share. As shown in my advanced ship physics video, directly hitting the harpoon will not affect the ship in any way. And you can tell by the sound effect it makes. That is similar to hitting a tree with a cannonball. Fact: Harpoons aiming upwards will slightly increase the chance of shielding your ship in case of a cannonball impact. Allow me to demonstrate. Go to your harpoon and aim it straight down. Then shoot the lower pin with a single bullet. You will see a dent where the bullet supposedly hits the harpoon. After that, raise the harpoon all the way up. You will notice that the mark is sliding upwards to an invisible mask where the target disappears. This line indicates the end of the invisible solid collider of the harpoon. That is usually the collider that detects bullets and sword hits, which unpins the spear. So by raising the harpoon, you are raising that collider. So you add a higher barrier to protect your ship from cannon ball impacts from certain angles. So, if they are not currently in use, raise them all the way up and add that extra bit of protection to your head, anchor, and top deck. This does not apply to cannons, as they are technically invisible because they have no collider, so raising them does not help. Let me know if you like this analysis, and if you do, I'll do them more often. So please, let me know in the comments section below. I stream on Twitch every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, so if you have any questions, feel free to catch me there. Link in the description below. You can also join our community of a thousand members on my Discord. And as always, happy sailing! Not in my house! Take that! Take that, man! Yes! That's how it's done.